Jonathan, you know what time it is? Soccer time. What is going on, my fast food nation? I'll tell you what's going on. You guys heard the man. It's taco time. I even got my, uh, like, what type of socks I got on? Taco socks. I got my taco socks on. And where are we to celebrate taco time, Jonathan? Taco? Uh, we're at Taco Bell. Yes, we are currently at Taco Bell. And the reason why we are at Taco Bell, besides the fact that it's taco time and well, I don't know about you, Jonathan, but Taco Bell sounds like a pretty good place to celebrate Taco Time at, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's one reason. The second reason is, well, Taco Bell, they came out with quite a few new fast food items. And on the fast foodies, we're all about trying the newest place, the greatest fast food, it's ice cream, snack cereals, anything, everything food related. So to make sure you don't miss out more reviews just like that, what should they do? Like and subscribe. Go ahead and do that. But over the past few weeks, Taco Bell has come out with a new cheesy jalapeno pizza, which I reviewed. Strawberry twist, which I reviewed, and most recently, this brand new chicken enchilada burrito. And that is what Jonathan and I are going to be trying today. Now, I guess that Taco Bell decided to combine an enchilada and a burrito in, into one. Sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, I think this comes with some sour cream, we got a three cheese blend, some beans. I think we got some shredded chicken in there as well, right? Yeah, yeah, so that'll be perfect. We just finished up off. A great lift, so we got to get our protein in. And well, I don't know about you, Jonathan, but uh, burrito from Taco Bell sounds pretty good. <laughs> All right, you ready to try this out? Sure. All right, I'll split it in half. There we go. Nice. All right, here we go, Jonathan. Thank you. Look at that. Cheesy. Let's find out if it's tasty. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a good amount of uh, meat in there. I wish there was a bit more of that sour cream, I think, though. Yeah. Either the sour cream or the, the cheese. I think yeah. they could have added a bit more of that, but... Yeah, when's the last time you had Taco Bell? You said it's been a while, right? Yeah, it's been forever. Yeah? Well, what do you think? Uh, um, I wish I had more filling. It's well towards Yeah. Um, but I mean, and this, is, this is only $2, though. So you oh, get, like, sweet. one yeah. of these or five... No, you get five of these or one Chipotle burrito. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely five of these. Yeah, that puts it into perspective. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it is quite a bit of a uh, tortilla. But so, you're getting good white chicken. The chicken isn't dry, it's moist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think for two bucks, heck, why not? You can pick up the, the strawberry twist, which my mom and I already reviewed for another dollar. Three dollars, get yourself a full meal. So, talk about once again, doesn't disappoint. Quality fast food. I do wish it had some freshness, some veggies. Yeah. Yeah. Some lettuce or tomatoes. I would have gladly paid an extra 50 cents for some uh, some green or red in here. But yeah. Alright, you ready for rating? Three, two, one, eight. eight. Oh. <laughs> I think every review we've done, except for one, we have the same number. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two fast food right here. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the fast foodies at Fast Foodies Review. Well, Fast Foodie Nation, I think it's safe to say that from here on out, September 7th is going to be forever known as International Taco Bell Day. You see, Taco Bell today on September 7th just launched not one, not two, not three, not four, but I'm pretty sure five, four or five brand new fast food items. Can you believe it? All in one day. I don't know what they have going on there at Taco Bell, but they came out with a uh, Roll chicken tacos, new chicken roll tacos, some type of chicken enchilada burrito, uh, a new strawberry drink, I believe, strawberry twists, and then the kind of new, or rather a new take on their classic Mexican pizza. A cheesy jalapeno pizza, or rather cheesy jalapeno Mexican pizza. And this, is what I'm gonna be reviewing today. 
But don't worry, because I am the king of the fast foodie nation, you better believe that I will be reviewing, well, I'm not sure about all five of the new items from Taco Bell, but a, a good amount of the brand new items at Taco Bell. I don't want to become known as a regular over at Taco Bell, so we, we'll, we'll see. And I will be bringing on a very special guest uh, for a few of the other reviews, so definitely make sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Sadly, my dad, even though he did join me for the intro, he will not be joining me for the actual review of this because, well, as you guys heard, it is a spicy, cheesy Mexican jalapeno pizza or spicy Mexican pizza. And my dad does not like spiciness. He does not like jalapenos. And as you guys can see, jalapenos clearly do make a presence in this spicy, cheesy Mexican pizza. But that is not all that comes with this pizza. Now, because I'm hoping that the endorsement watches this review, and because he always roasts me for getting the facts wrong about the fast food that I review, I wrote everything down so I don't forget. <laughs> so this spicy, cheesy Mexican pizza from Taco Bell comes with seasoned beef and refried beans. It also comes with two pizza shells, AKA taco shells, come on, they're the same thing. Uh, then it also comes with, obviously it has to come with pizza sauce since we're talking about a pizza here. A three cheese blend, a nacho cheese sauce, tomatoes, and last but not least, as I already mentioned, jalapenos. So I'm hoping that this isn't too spicy because I think actually yesterday I ran out of uh, my backup, AKA Pepto Bismol. So um, yeah, not too sure how that will go. But uh, yeah, I guess the only spicy component to this are those jalapenos. So maybe I will bring my dad on and have him try a bite without the jalapenos. But first I'm gonna make sure that the rest of the components are too spicy so they don't hurt his stomach. Um, let's see. Now you could use a fork and knife, but I'm gonna eat this like you should eat any pizza. I have a uh, knife, solid knife, and I have a plastic fork. So let's... Um... Look at that. We got the, the beef and the beans in there. Oh man, this is looking very cheesy. Man, I am very excited for this cheese. Oh. That's good. Although I'm not getting, nope. I was about to say that I wasn't getting too much of that uh, that pizza sauce, but I did get some of that pizza tomato sauce. 